Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this single server devlog, I will make the first level and completely redo the character controller. Let's get started. Wait, before we get started, I just have to promote my Instagram and my Twitter, so go check those out. I have a Google document that has a list of maps. The majority of maps are ripoffs from other games, but so far I have two original maps. The map I will be creating today is the shipyard map. The shipyard map is a map set in a shipyard where the opposing force is trying to intercept a cargo shipment. I started out by opening up Krita and sketching out a simple layout. I wanted the opposing force to have the defender's advantage so they will have a little bit more cover. One of the features of this map is the large maze of cargo containers. The opposing force will start out in some of these cargo containers, while the government will start off at the entrance of the shipyard. So after I got the concept down, I imported it to Unity and started using ProBuilder to block out a layout. If you want to know how to use ProBuilder, then check out my ProBuilder 2021 video. Link it in the top right of the screen. So I used poly shape to get the areas where the player can walk and then used another poly shape to block out the cover. For now, there will not be that much cover on the map. Transition to the next part. Right now, my movement code is not clean. I have recently made a Unity package, which should be going on the asset store sometime soon. Anyways, this package has readable code and has everything I need for my game. The only problem is that this character controller is not compatible with the new input system. I'll have to add a couple of variables to get it to work. So editing this script is simple. I just make a reference to the input actions, and whenever the user presses the WASD keys, it gets a vector 2 and moves the player in that direction. The same applies to the mouse, but instead of getting keyboard input, you get the mouse delta. Move to the outro. If you want to help support the development of this game, then I recommend you subscribe and leave a like. This game still has a future for it, so ring that bell to get notified when single server devlogs come out. Fun Uber out.